All right guys, welcome back. Today I'm out here, I'm on the central coast, so I'm fishing by San Luis Obispo. And I'm actually fishing with Hook the Cook, who's somewhere over there, and then the Santa Cruz Surfcaster, who's over behind me. But we're out here yesterday, Santa Cruz Surfcaster and I drove down, and we got here around 10.30 p.m.-ish. And then today, we've just woken up. We woke up at four, we drove over here, we got here at five, launched from the beach uh it's been really nice and right now i'm just trying to pick up some bait my sabiki was sort of tangled for a bit so i lost a bit of time but apparently they've been finding some mackerel and some sardines and i think i'm getting nibbles over here so i'm just dropping down a sabiki yeah there we go got a fish i'm just dropping down a sabiki right now we want that live bait out here Live bait is king. What is this? I don't even know what this is. Looks like some kind of a rockfish, but this is really not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for some sardines, anchovies, um, mackerel. Mackerel would be great, any of that. And today mainly we're going for halibut. We know there's been some big halibut caught out here at this beach actually someone caught a 40 pounder so that's insane it was 48 inches and on the kayak too so that's really really nice and a nice thing about out here is actually that there's no harbors anywhere within like a two and a half hour radius of here so there's just no boats it's only kayakers and we got a pretty good group out here probably a dozen or so kayakers all fishing don't think anyone's hooked up yet but the goal of the day is to catch some halibut there's been sea bass around, but you know how sea bass are. They call them ghosts for a reason. And you can see I finally got my fish finder working right here. So this is this is great, and I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna just look for some bait, cast a sabiki down, see if we can pick it up. But whenever I'm marking some fish, because maybe there's some sea bass, we'll throw the swim bait, we'll fly line something. We're just gonna do everything we can. Check this out, That's all of that is bait right there. All this green stuff. And look, I already got some, a couple sardines. Nice. That's the live bait we're looking for. So I got this flow troll live well. I'm going to put these guys in here really fast. Look at that. On the, right on the drop. Looks like we're right in a school of them. And I got a couple. Basically guys, I'm just gonna sit here, catch as many sardines as I can, and then we'll start throwing them down live. I got like three on here. Oh, I got like five. That's all the bait I'm gonna use. Cause uh, basically if you have too much in there, they'll take each other's oxygen and they will all die. So it can't be too greedy, but good to get. A decent amount of these guys so now what we are going to do is we're gonna start catching big fish baby we're gonna move into some deeper waters over there and start dropping these guys basically I'm gonna throw those guys down live put them on a stinger rig and hopefully get some big halibut Everett was telling me basically in Santa Cruz the halibut is, is there's a big nursery but out here uh, the fish that are here are cruising along and they're they're big ones it's not really as much of a nursery so if we catch they should be pretty decent sized and it's looking good man it's cloudy with a chance of some serious halibut oh and look at all this bait is rolling through probably a bunch of sardines this is good this is a good spot so i'm gonna get my rods rigged up you can see on here i got a halibut rig basically what this rig consists of is i got my main line right here so this is some braid going to this sliding swivel so i'm gonna attach a 10 ounce torpedo sinker to that and then i got a bead and a barrel swivel right there and this is going to my leader which is the actual trap rig itself so right there i got the sliding snell knot this will slide to adjust our different sized live baits out there and we got a treble to swing free at the back so let's rig up a fish on here i'm gonna put one hook right on, through this guy's nose and then i am going to slide this rig down to match the treble with his tail and the reason why i'm using this guy first is because he's the biggest so he'll consume the most oxygen in my 
bait tank. So if I get this guy down there, the other ones will have more oxygen. And you can see he's swimming around down there, very lively. This is a very, very good bait. I'm gonna send it down. Let's see, it's looking good. Come on, dropping down there and just set my rod down right here. And now it's just a waiting game. You can see him bobbing along right there. And I'm gonna set up my other bait. So we're gonna take the sardine and just like the other one, hook him right up through the nose and you want to handle them the least amount possible and basically just get them in the water as fast as you can and I'm gonna nice and gently drop him down to the bottom and he is going down there oh what the heck that was quick Look at this, I got a kingfish. That was fast. It just attacked my sardine right here. I'm gonna unhook this guy and I'm gonna throw the sardine right back in there. And that was fast. Got a kingfish. These guys are a pretty good bait. They will last all day. So it's good to keep one of these guys around in the live well. So I'm gonna troll out there, deeper water, but we're trolling two baits right now. So anything could happen. Look how much bait there is. I've been moving. I've literally just been pedaling and pedaling. I'm trying to get into 50 60 feet of water i'm almost there but look at how much bait is in the water today absolutely crazy amounts this has been almost a solid line but this is a good sign because if we can pick up steady base throughout the day we have a very good shot Go bro, start recording. Let me see, something feels heavy, but I don't know what it is. Let's see. Oh yeah, no, it's a hell of it. Nice, this was feeling heavy. I got a little bite, but there was not much. This is a halibut, this is definitely a short, so not a keeper. We'll pull him up on the kayak just like that. But uh, there we go, there's a halibut. I'm gonna de-hook this guy really fast. Oof. Careful with that trouble while well, he's freaking out. But um, basically I got a little bite. I thought it might be, I thought it was a halibut, but I didn't think he took it. And then I saw my line go sort of slack. So I had a pretty good idea a fish was on it. I'm gonna measure this guy. He definitely looks short, but at least that's a fish. So you get a quick measurement on this guy. Yeah, he's like 19, 20 inches. So let's get the release. I don't want to hold this guy out of the water too long, but you can see nice California halibut out here. And let's get the release. So this guy is two inches short, bit on the sardine. Oh, and there he goes, feisty guy. Damn, they're fast fish. But there we go. At least that's a fish. First fish of the day is down. So let's see, now we just need to get a keeper. GoPro, start recording. No. Oh my God, I just had a halibut. I just had a halibut on the swim bait. I don't see any tooth marks, but that was definitely a bite. Hopefully the halibut did not get hooked right now. Uh, when they don't get hooked, they can come back and hit again. When they do get hooked, they don't really come back. When they don't, you have somewhat of a chance. That was a bite. That was a bite. That was a bite. Oh, did something just cut my line? Yeah, something just cut my line. That was a shark. That was a shark. Just cut my whole line right now. Damn it. You're gonna have to tie on a new rig right here. But that right there was a shark. Just saw a little bite and then my line went completely slack. GoPro, start recording. GoPro, start recording. Here's a bite, here's a bite. I just stabbed myself with a sabiki. 
Let's see. Something was nibbling. This is not going to be a big fish, ladies and gentlemen. It's probably going to be a kingfish. Ready? What do we got? Oh no. A mackerel ate my smelt. There you go. Nice looking mackerel just ate my smelt. It's looking slow today. People have been catching some halibut. Uh, I'm pretty sure Edward from Hook to Cook got one. And uh, I've seen a couple more people with halibut. It's just not our day. Everett's got a leopard shark and I have got a shaker halibut. And that is all we have to say for ourselves today so far. All right, we've been out here all day since 5.30 and it is now 12.30. So we gave it a shot. No keeper halibut today, but we did get that one shaker. You know what? There was a ton of bait in the water. Some people caught fish, but just not our day. I didn't get any, ever didn't get any, but hopefully we will get our payback tomorrow with some yellowtail. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe, stay tuned, and until next time, tight lines.